Hello, my name is Anthony Murphy. I am a final year student at the National College of Art and Design, and I have just completed the BA in Fine Art in Painting. I also recently, in 2019, retired as physics professor at Maynooth University, and this influences very much my art practice at the intersection between physics and art. My work focuses on the lived experience of scientific discovery represented by old laboratory instruments. Maynooth University itself also houses the National Science Museum, which includes the inventions of Nicholas Callan, who was a pioneer researcher into electromagnetism in the mid-19th century at Maynooth College. It is notable that around the same time, J.M.W. Turner, in the 1840s, influenced by the scientific discoveries of his friend, physicist Michael Faraday, painted Snowstorm, depicting the new understanding of the magnetic field lines of the Earth. Thus, making use of obsolete scientific instruments from the Maynooth collections for my imagery, I draw attention to this historic link between physics, the laboratory and representation in art. I also draw attention to the fact that as the site of research and experimentation, the laboratory of the inventive scientist itself mirrors the studio of the creative artist. These ideas I explore have been very much influenced by Grace Weir's comprehensive exhibition, Three Different Nights Recurring at Emma in 2015, and also by conversation with the artist. I am also inspired by the intense observational approach of contemporary artist Via Selmans and the enigmatic still life compositions of Giorgio Morandi. The actual artworks I create in acrylic paint, as well as drawings and monoprints, are in a realist style, while I also utilise optical phenomena such as reflection and refraction in my composition. In my oeuvre, I am interested in exploring shape and form, the depiction of metal, glass and foil surfaces, especially relating to reflectance and optical phenomena associated with mirrors, lenses and prisms. Thus, like Alice in Through the Looking Glass, I then explore the ambiguous world of reflection in portraying the research endeavour expressed by old laboratory instruments and obsolete research equipment. Painting one that was uploaded, shown here also, is of a brass horn-shaped detector for heat radiation. Multiple images formed using two mirrors at an angle with frames removed, create interesting relationships and visual ambiguity. We are recording an image in paint of a single instrument, itself being re-imaged by two mirrors, confusing what is real with what is image. Also pointing to scientific research, I explored obsolete research apparatus from the early days of my own career, which have interesting pyramidal shapes and metal surfaces, uploaded paintings two and three. In painting two, shown here, foil as a reflective surface produces distorted images as a metaphor for the confusion from which, through scientific analysis, nevertheless, physical laws can be divined. Painting three again employs multiple imaging. Light itself can also act as an experimental tool in its own right in the reflection and refraction of a beam of morning sunlight by a prism, painting four or a lens observing its own reflected image, as in painting five. Image six uploaded shows some more work installed in the studio space at NCAD. The RDS Visual Arts Awards gives me the possibility of having my work exhibited as part of a high profile art competition. I feel the unique aspects of my work and my unusual background would be interesting to the RDS to consider, given their historic connection with the development and promotion of science in Ireland. During the next five years, my priority will be to undertake a research-driven art practice with a strong scientific bias, upskill my artistic formation and broaden my studio practice, while also making links with relevant galleries and museums that have a physics or technology bias. Thank you for your attention.